to another video from Hegarty Maths. Uh, it's Mr Hegarty here. This is our fourth video on integration for core two and we're working out the error between a curve and a line. To introduce the idea, suppose I asked you to work out that shaded region R. It's bounded between this curve Y, the red line, that's the curve Y, and the, that straight line. Hopefully you can see that a way of working this out, so I think the easiest way of working out would be to work out the area of the triangle. You see what I'm on about that triangle there? Work out the area of the whole triangle and subtract from it the area under the curve, which is this area here, which hopefully you can see I'm on about this thing here. If I, if I worked out the area of the whole tri triangle and subtracted the area underneath the curve, I would get the leftover bit. So the way I approach these style of questions, yes, I'm go I can't just integrate straight to get that area. Um, what I can do is I can integrate to get the area under the curve, work out the area of a triangle using just a half the base times the height and subtract the area of the curve from the triangle and it will give me the leftover bit. What about here? Could you have a think what you do uh, to get this area? I'll give you the clue. It's a shape take away area under a curve. Have a think if you can think. Right, what I would do is I would work out the area of this trapezium here. If you can just see what I'm on about, that should, be, that should be a trapezium there. I've made it a bit too big. And what would I do? I'd take away the area underneath the curve, which is the area underneath the curve, which would be worked out by integration. And that would get me the leftover bit. So I just need to work out the area of a trapezium and subtract the area under a curve. That would give me the leftover bit. So that's the principle we're applying in this video. We're going to do two examples and see if we can work that out. Okay, the diagram shows a sketch of part of a curve and the curve here, this curve, is y is equal to x for subtract x, which I'm actually just going to times out to 4x subtract x squared. And we are asked, uh, so we have to find the area bounded by the curve and the line. So let's think about this. We want this area. This is an important line here, can you see? It's not x is 4 here, x is 4 here, and x is 0 here. There's a different x here which we're going to have to find. We want to find that shaded area, the shaded area, which I'm going to draw like something like that. That shaded area is going to be equal to the area underneath the curve, can you imagine the, this whole area, take away the triangle up there. Because if I, uh, sorry for that interruption there, because if I subtract these two, I just get left with the shaded area there. So what I could do is I could work out the area under the curve by integration. So I'm going to use integration for this. take away the area of a triangle, which I'm just going to use half the base times the, the height. Okay, so the only thing I need is I've, I I need the base of this triangle. I need to work out this distance here. It's not 4, it's less than 4, and I need to work out this height here. Now to do that, I need to basically find this point of intersection, the point of intersection of the line and the curve, because that will give me the x and the y number. And therefore, I know how far to go from 0 to that x number, and I'll know how far to go up the height from 0 to the y number. So the first thing I'm going to do is work out the points of intersection. So I'm going to say work out points of intersection. So I've got the equation y is equal to 4x subtract x squared, and I've got the line y is equal to x. That's equation 1, that's equation 2. I can put 2 in 1, make them both equal each other or whatever you say. So make them both equal each other. 
I'm going to have x is equal to 4x subtract x squared, add x squared to both sides, take away 4x from both sides, I get x squared subtract 3x is 0, and then factorising it, I get that. So I get that x is 0 or x is 3. And that makes sense. If x is 0, this point here must be 0, 0. I knew that. And this point here, well, I've got x is equal to 3. What's the y number? Well, I can put it into either of these. Y is clearly going to be 3 as well. So it's going to be 3, 3. OK, so I've got that piece of information. Let's do the integration and work out the area of the triangle. So this is the integral between x is 0 and x is 3 of this curve, 4x subtract x squared with respect to x. Take away the area of the triangle, which is a half. The base, which we said this is 3 times 3, times the height, which is also 3. We have to work this thing out, so square brackets. Add 1 to the power and divide, so that will end up being 2x squared. Add 1 to the power and divide, take away a third x cubed between 0 and 3. Take away 3 times 3 times a half is 4.5. So if I substitute 3 in here, 3 squared is 9, 2 times 9 is 18. If I put in 3 here, 3 cubed is 27, a third times 27 is 9, so take away 9. If I put in 0 here, I get 0 and 0, take away 4.5. So this is going to be 9, take away 4.5, which is equal to 4.5. And that is my area in this case. Okay, one more example. Let's have a go at this one and see if you can think how to work that out. We're asked to uh, work out the shaded region, and this is the line y is equal to 2x, and this is the curve here, y is equal to x squared subtract 3x. I'm just multiplying this out. We're asked to work out the shaded region. Just think for a second if you could think how to do it using the ideas I've presented previously. Okay, if I was going to do this, what I would do is I would work out the area of the whole triangle right, and then I would work out the area underneath this curve here bounded between A and B, and I would take them away. Can you see that if I worked out the area of the whole triangle and I took away that curved region, it would work out the bit I'm looking for. So that's what I would do. So I need to know this coordinate, this coordinate, and this coordinate here, so that I can work out the base and the height for the triangle. And also I need this coordinate between here and here to work out the area under this curve here. Right. Let's do some work. Let's just work out this coordinate, which we think is zero. Is the origin that should be 0, 0, and this coordinate, by solving this equation with this equation intercepted like we did the first one. So what y is equal to x squared subtract 3x on the one hand, and equation 2, we've got y is equal to 2x. We've got equation 1 and equation 2. We make them equal each other. So we're going to solve x squared subtract 3x is equal to 2x. Take away 2x from both sides. x squared, take away 5x is equal to 0. Factorise that. And I get x is 0, x is 5. Now when x is 0, put it back in here, I get y is 0. So I know that's the point 0, 0. When I get x is 5 here, I put it in here to get y is 10. So we know this goes through 5, 10. So I know on this diagram here, that is the point 0, 0, and this is the point 5, 10. Now that's enough for my triangle. I suppose the only uh, piece of information I need here... Now, I also know that B is equal to 5 here. This point here is going to be 5, 0, because it's in a line with 5, 10. That's easy. The only other point is I have to work out that point there in order so that I have an area to intercept between. So that's the first stage of my problem. How am I going to find that point? Well that's easy. These two points are the roots of the curve, right? So I've got the curve y is equal to x, x take away 3. When y is 0, I know 0 equals x, x take away 3. I know x is 0 and I know x is 3. 
So I, I knew that point was zero, 0, but now I know this point is 3, 0. OK, now it's time for this uh, piece of work. The area is therefore this triangle. Now, the triangle is base times height divided by 2, or half the base times height. The base here is from 0 to 5. So the base is 5 times the height from 0 to 10. So it's times 10 divided by 2. That bit's easy. That's the triangle. Take away, we are integrating between this value of x here, 3 and 5, our curve. Um, we're under the curve here. We're trying to work at area under the curve. So x squared subtract 3x with respect to x. So the area... 5 multiplied by 10 over 2 is 25. Take away, we can integrate this with square brackets. It will be a third x cubed take away 3 over 2x squared between 5 and 3. Area is therefore 25 take away. Well, I put 5 in here. So 5 cubed is 125. We get 125 over 3 take away. That's going to be 25. So it's going to be 75 over 2 when I type that in my calculator, take away the answer when I put a third in, that's going to be 9, take away um, when I put 3 in here is 9, uh, 27 over 2, take away 27 over 2. So all I've got to do is type that in my calculator and I should get the right answer. So I'm, I'm just going to keep the 25, take away what I get for this. So um, So I'm going to get 26 take away 26 over 3. So 25 take away 26 over 3. And I get the answer 49 uh, over 3. So I get the final answer 49 over 3. So A equals 49 over 3. Now there was a lot of typing out there. I could just obviously just use my calculator to get this bit and check. Let's check that I was actually right there. So I know this is 25. So I could say it's 25 take away the integral. Okay of x squared take away 3x between 3 and 5 and I get 49 over 3. So I know I've done it right and I know I've got the right answer. And that's it for this video. Hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching.